up? Dibs Ahoy, back again with another video and I thought today I would go for the conversion of Street Fighter 2 Turbo that they've done on Xbox Live. I've cranked the difficulty up there to the top and I'm just going to see how we do here today. I've uh, been playing it a little bit recently, trying to get back into some Street Fighter. I uh, figured I needed a bit more on the old channel here. I know I did uh, the uh, version of Street Fighter 2 on the Mega Drive Special Champion Edition, which is technically this game, like the hyper, it has the hyper fighting mode in it, but you know, the arcade version looks better and stuff, and so I wanted to go for that version, and uh, ooh, yeah, I've been having some execution problems actually, that's the one thing I have noticed about my play on this game, I'm playing on the uh, arcade stick here, uh, you know, reliving, reliving those glory days of the arcade. Um, yeah, we used to have a small arcade in a corner shop outside our uh, our school that everyone used to play Street Fighter to it to in. Although actually thinking about it, I'm not sure if it was we, they were still doing it when uh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo came out. It was like it was like mostly like um, the original Street Fighter 2 and then Champion Edition. Oh, that was poor execution there. It cost me. But yeah, there was a lot of... Uh... Oh, <laughs> what am I doing? I do apologise. Oh man, that, did, that nearly cost me. Never take your eyes off the fight till it's finished. But yeah, there was uh, a lot of people play, playing uh, Street Fighter 2 back in those days. That was kind of like... When was that? I guess like 92? 92 to 93, I suppose, like that's when, well, I mean, they did call Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition Street Fighter 92 yeah, uh, at one point, but, um, yeah, they, it, it, was, it was pretty cool, like, back in those days, you know, just having that uh, little arcade, like, right outside the school, but then they started getting, um, they started having a lot of the hacked machines, like the Rainbow Edition, the Black Belt Edition, and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, kids were just like spamming dragon punches and it had like thousands of fireballs coming out of it. And, like, you know, they were homing fireballs. I think I'm going to lose this in. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it was like, you know, you do the dragon punch and like like loads of fireballs would just come out and like home in on the opponent. And, like, people were just like beating the computer and thinking they were like awesome at the game and stuff. And it was like. Man, that's not even like, you're not actually playing Street Fighter. Whereas I obviously know exactly what I'm doing. I'm only kidding. I do apologise, this is a poor shot. Yeah, like, this is very similar to the Mega Drive version. I can use a lot of my tactics that I had on that version on this version, but there's there's just a couple of things that are a little bit different, and playing on the stick is slightly... Ah, see there. In the Mega Drive version, I would have nailed that Dragon Punch there, but I did a fail. But yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there. Here's Blanca done. See, so yeah, I remember a few losses in the arcades that uh, really pained me. They actually still pain me to this day. There was a guy called uh, Matthew Bishop, and I remember that we had uh, we had a fight and had been hyped up through the day. And then after school, we went to play it, and he he beat me. And I remember that one. That would always bug me. I always wanted a rematch with him. Like even now, even if he could even remember which character he picked, like and there's no way he would probably remember that fight. But you know, I remember it. Cause it, as I say, it hurt. But um, yeah. That was that was a minor loss, I suppose, really, but it's just annoying. There was uh, one of the other kids uh, who beat me. I, rem I remember it was on Super Street Fighter 2. We didn't have Super Street Fighter 2 for execution in uh, in our corner shop, but in the in the uh, arcades at uh, Eastbourne Pier that we used to go to, they had uh, I, th I think it was just the regular Street Fighter, uh, Super regular Super Street Fighter. I don't remember them ever having the Turbo version. And then, and then I get dizzy. But like, yeah, it was a Japanese kid, and he would sit there like all day, every day, just playing it. And I remember he, he it was like his machine, you know. It's like if anyone was on it, he would jump in, beat them, and just just get them off. 
and uh, <laughs> yeah, he gave me a beating, which I, I remember I was I was kind of like I mean I wasn't surprised after seeing him play, play, but I was like I didn't think I would do a bit better than I did. I just had to uh, get a time of victory there. But yeah, actually it was interesting because that one fight probably taught me a, more than more about Street Fighter than like a hundred wins. That one loss taught me more. And like after that fight, I was like, huh, interesting. The way he beat me, like so, like comfortably. And uh, and uh, yeah, I, I changed my tactics a lot after that. Played a lot less aggressively. That was one of the things that. I remember I realised I was doing wrong. Like just being way too aggressive, like, you know, just thinking that my if I had such a good like offense that you didn't really need that good of a of a defence, like for blocking and stuff. You know, but he taught me a lesson and <laughs> Yeah, so things changed after that. But that was a long time ago. My uh, my play here is probably not very representative of the, the accumulation of my efforts from back in those days. Oh. Especially since I can't seem to do dragon punches from particular sides here. But yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Just a bit of fun. Oh, he got me with that one. Oh, that was supposed to be a dragon punch. There we go. You have to be so much more precise in this game than Street Fighter 4. I've been sort of desensitized to skill by Street Fighter 4 and the way you could just like uh, be very sloppy with your inputs. I just lost there. That's alright, that's alright. We can take a loss. We could take a loss. It's all just a learning experience. I'm much older now, and I will blame it on that. <laughs> I need to pay attention. See, the moves just ain't coming out. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Did they? No. That's gotta be dizzy there. I knew it, I knew it. Alright. See? Street Fighter 4 has ruined me. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, the Street Fighter 5 comes out next month. Pretty excited about that. Except for having got a stick to play. Mm, that did quite a lot of damage. Bit generous to yourself there, CPU. Oh man. Yes, land on that. That's a little tactic I used to do in the Mega Drive, the delayed far standing beers. It was like, you know, just wait, see what they're going to do. They probably were going to chuck out a fireball and then BANG! Right, Chun Li! Now, this is one difference that I've noticed in this version is that you can't as easily get the hurricane kick over a head as in the Mega Drive version. Get back in that corner, you mug. I didn't do a good enough punch there. Should have at least do a punch cancel into Dragon Punch, but. Well. As I say, that execution! Sloppier than my mum's mashed potato. 
Ah, nice so lovely. Jump forward! <laughs> See, that's what I told you about. When you're struggling to even walk forward and you jump forward, you know you're having problems. Trying to make me use skill here or something. Play the game for me, like... What?! Uh, right. It can have that one. I thought that was a little generous. A little generous on itself. Oh my goodness! <laughs> there we go. Yeah, this is a this is a sloppy performance. <sighs> Zangief. I don't like playing Zangief. I don't like the range he has on his grabs. It was very unfair to me. You're like a million miles away, and it's just like, yeah, I'm grabbing you. And the animation so obviously changes. But you gotta give him something, I suppose. They don't like playing him either. Like, as in control with him. He's got me, hasn't he? Oof, I'm wondering he's gonna grab me there out of that. I was like doing or trying to go for a walk up throw here at the beginning like that. Of course you can get quite badly punished though if it fails. Oh, is that Dizzy? Yes. Oh, he woke up then. You have to be really quick when he gets knocked into the dizzy state because he will just wake up so quick that it's ridiculous so yeah actually I was I've been watching um, some stuff about some of the American players uh, recently there was uh, uh, these inter uh, not interviews but these kind of vlogs I suppose by this guy Jeff Schaefer who was like a Blanca player and uh, oh, I messed this up he was really good back in the day, and uh, you know, uh, he's talking about Tomo O'Hara and like Mike Watson and all those kind of guys. And it was like, yeah, he, I remember he put him on his channel himself, like at one point, and then they, he deleted them. But then, but someone saved them and re-uploaded them. I think they were on like Shuraiken or something, Shuraiken.com originally. But um, oh, yeah, yeah it's really interesting cool like just hearing about those kind of stories of uh, the old days and there's some really cool videos of him actually play, playing Daigo like from I don't know was it 2004 and he was like getting perfects on him on, on Super Turbo and you know he hadn't like played the game properly for like 10 years and Daigo was kind of like you know in pretty good form back at that time so kind of makes you wonder because there's not like much footage of uh, the old days. Oh man, I'm so slow with that Dragon Punch Four up there. Yeah, it makes you wonder how good those guys really were. I'd love it if some footage turned up sometime of those of those days, you know, just to see the skill level and that. Like first hand, because like you know, it's it's almost become legendary. Like people are talking about the skill level. And like you know, they're debating like where 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 it is in comparison to these days and stuff. You know, the modern day people like Daigo, like I say, Justin Wong, um, you know, Takeda, all those guys or whatever. It would be interesting to know. I did see like uh, that Gra Graham Wolf guy. He was one of the old guys who uh, I think he was good on Super Turbo and. Uh, He's been playing a bit of Street Fighter 5 recently. Like I, I think I think I saw a video of him playing Vega. 
Yes, yeah, so that's gonna be interesting. Apparently, like those old, old guys, like Alex Bay and uh, that Graham Wolf guy, they've been doing like really well in it because of uh, they're kind of they've got a different mindset because they kind of you know they're from the Street Fighter Two days and like they're beating a lot of people from the Street Fighter Four days. You know, they, they were a lot more footsie based because they didn't have as many gimmicks and exploits and stuff and there wasn't like supers and ultras and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, I, I like kind of reading about those, those guys and those old times and stuff. I'm gonna get killed here against Rory here. Yeah. I played bad there, I do apologise. Right, we're going again on that one. In fact, we'll go again in the next episode so I will see you next time. Same Greek time, same Greek channel. We're gonna avenge that defeat. <laughs>